In this lesson, we are going to implement uploading multiple files for product. When you go to the product screen, you will see multiple images and you can switch between them. And in the back office, inside the product edit screen, we add additional images and you can add new images like this to the Cloudinary, save them in the database, and then you will have multiple images inside the product screen. To get the source code, go to this link and inside the comment section, find video 53 upload multiple images. Let's get to code. To start this tutorial, go to this link. It's the repository of Mern Amazon project. And inside the comment section, find the video before 53, this one. Update readme, click on browse files and click on code and click on download zip then open it inside the vs code then follow the instruction inside readme in run locally and follow the lesson for multiple image upload here is the plan to upload multiple images for products let us start by adding image to product model open product model.js find the product schema and after image add a new field for images. It's an array of type string. Next step is in the product routes. Go to product routes.js, find the put method, search for dot put. And in this API, we update the product information. Find the image and after image, add images. So we are going to save the image and the images array from frontend. And the next step is in frontend, go to product edit screen. At the very top, import list group after container, import list group from React Bootstrap, find the state section, the place that we defined states to save product information after image add a new state for images and the default value for it is empty array. We are going to save the images in this state. Find the use effect, find set image and after it set images based on the data from backend. Next step is in the submit handler after image, add images. So what we do here is to save the images in the backend using this API. We already added this code to save the images that we pass from here. Let's go for the next step. We need to edit upload file handler to handle image and images. So what I'm gonna do here is to put a new parameter in the upload file handler and it's a Boolean value to see if the upload is for image or additional images. Here I'm going to check it in the try part if it's for images, do this. Otherwise, use the previous code, this one. Drag it in the else part, but for the four images, we need to make it set images and use an array and deconstruct all images and concatenate it with the newly updated file. Save the code and after successful upload, show this message image uploaded successfully, but user need to click on update to apply this change. So we need to get rid of this toast here. And here it's time to go for the UI, find the image file, change upload file to upload image and after upload image what i'm gonna do is to create a new form group right here define a new form group the class name is margin button 3 and set control id to image let's make it additional image additional image create a form control label and set it to additional images then Check for the images.length. If it's equal to zero, show this message, no image. 
Then create a list group, set variant to flush to get rid of border around it, and use map function on the images like this. And what we're gonna do is to create a list group item for each image in the images array. Set key to the X, and inside that, show the image URL and show a button to delete the image. Set variant of button to light and for unclick, call delete file handler and pass the URL to this function. Inside that, use the icon from Font Awesome and its remove icon. After this form group, create another form group, set control ID to image to additional image file. The label is upload additional image, create a form control after the form label, set type to file and for unchanged call upload file handler but pass for images parameter to true. Like uploading image, I'm going to show a loading box if loading upload is true. Save the code and go for delete file handler. I scroll up, find the return section and define delete file handler. Pass file name as a parameter to an async function and inside that call set images and filter images based on the file name in the parameter. So what we do is to get rid of this image from the images array. Then toast this message, image removed successfully, but user need to click to apply it. Save the code, run the front end project, run the back end project if you don't have it running. Then run the front end project and save the code in all files. Let's check the result. Go to admin section, products, and click on edit. Here you have additional images and upload additional image file upload click on it select the file click open aha uh -huh. it's uploaded to this address if i click on update it's gonna be saved and if i go to edit a screen again i can see the uploaded image here but inside the product screen here i can see that image let's create thumbnail for it Go to product a screen this time and find the user state for rating and comment. What I'm gonna do is to add a new state and this one is for the selected images. Then go to the IMG tag, scroll down and find the IMG tag here and change the source from product.image to selected image if it's undefined or null or empty then use the main image the product.image the next step is creating thumbnail let's go to the price and after price create a list item group for thumbnail to create thumbnail define a row for extra small screen make it one and for medium screen make it two Set class name to G2 to create a space between items. Then concatenate product image, it's the main image, with product.images, they are additional images. And use map function on it and convert each image to a call. So define a call in the map function. Inside that, define a card. And inside card, define a button. Set class name to thumbnail, type to button, variant to light, and for unclick, change the selected images. Change the selected image using set selected image to the selected image in the array. Inside that, we need to show the card image. So use card.img tag, set variant to top to stick to top of the card, set source to the image URL, and alternative text to product, there is no need to have class name for it. Save the code, and here is the list group item for product thumbnail. The last thing 
is to go to index.css. At the very end, define a class for button.thumbnail. We just need to get rid of padding here. That's it. Let's check the result. Aha, beautiful. Here we have two images of a thumbnail. If I click on this one, I can see this product. If I click on this one, I can see this one. We can add more images, go to product, edit, choose file, select another one, open, and wait a while to upload. So we have two additional images. Click on update, go back to home page, select a product, much better. Awesome. Here we have three images and we can switch between images like this. If you want to delete an image, just go to admin dashboard products, find the product and click on remove icon like this one. Oops, it's, it shouldn't remove all images. Let's fix this issue. Aha, here we need to change it to this one. Here, get rid of X, that's it. Save the file. That's it about this lesson. Until next lesson, bye-bye.